Hello everyone, happy to see you here my friend. Today we have a really interesting problem. We have 2 to the power n equal to 20 to the 8th power. And right now we're going to find our n. But before before solving this, I want to ask you if you don't mind to leave a like, write any comment. You helps me a lot and improve my videos and you really support my channel if it's not hard to you. Thank you and let's try to solve it. First of all, we have power, we have exponent right here, we have a variable that we need to find. So it's really good to work with not powers, but a, a number that we multiply. So we, it's really good to, to take log on both sides. Let's do this. So take log on the left hand side, we have log 2 to the n equal to log 20 to the 8. Okay, we just take log on both sides. This is, this is really good. Because if you know a little bit about logarithm property, so we have logarithm logarithm m base of n and right here we have p for example as a power so this goes right here so this is a main log property that's that why we of course take log on both sides right here p times log m base of n so this is why i take log because this n goes right here and this 8 goes right here let's do this we have n log log 2 equal to 8 log log 20 okay we just write it as a constant right here. And right now we have n, so we have this constant. We don't need this constant because th we need only our n equal to. So let's divide both sides by this log two. So we have log two right, right, right here and nothing changed, we need to nothing change. So I write it right here, log, log two. Okay, what we're going to do next? From here we can easily cancel this. As a result, we have this this expression and it looks like our answer because we have constant on the numerator and constant in our denominator but i'm going to show you a really good logarithm rules right here so stay with me and you improve your log logarithm skills first of all let's write this 20 as 2 times 10 so we have 8 times logarithm right here we have 10 times 2 okay we just write this 20 as 10, 10 times 2 and log 2 in our denominator Okay, okay, and right now we need to know a real good property. If we have logarithm of a product, so we can easily write it as a sum of logarithm. So the sum of this logarithm plus this one. Okay, we will have eight times logarithm, logarithm ten, and plus logarithm, logarithm two, and dividing by logarithm two, equal to. So we hope you understand this step. Logarithm property. Okay, let's go next. What are we going to do next? First of all, this one equal to 1, because we have same base, same exponent, so we have 8 in parentheses, 1 plus logarithm 2, and dividing by logarithm, logarithm 2. Okay, what are we going to do next? Let's divide it by parts. First of all, let's multiply it and divide it. We will have 8 plus 8 logarithm 2, so multiplying our numerator, dividing by logarithm 2, and dividing it by parts. So this one divided by this one, and this by this one. So what we'll have? We will have 8 over logarithm 2, and plus, right here only 8, because this is cancelled, plus 8. And if you're interested in approximately answer, our n approximately equal to 34.8. 58 if you're interested in approximately answer but our n equal to 8 over logarithm 2 and plus 8 this is our this is our answer this is approximately answer thank you so much for watching thank you for your support leave a like write any comment thank you for watching and see you in the next videos have a great day